Hey crafty ladies, how you doing? Well, my camera stopped abruptly the other day when I was trying to show you these. After showing you all that, I um, was going to show you my bee dolls, but I've had these for a while. I, uh, I first saw them at Joann's and I got a few of them. And then AliExpress and um, Wish. You can get them really cheap on there. All kinds. But they are just so darling. And they're just little bee dolls. They even have a chest right there. But yeah, I think you can buy the parts and make them yourself. But I just fell in love with these things when I first seen them. Is that backwards? Yeah, it goes this way. But yeah, I just love them. They're so cute. And they all come with with um which way are we looking at here yeah right here they all come with a little thing here um i'm not sure what that one has this one's really cute it's got a little bead necklace that actually moves up here and she's got a little drink and then this one is really cute too and she's got a purse this one is a winter one, and she's got her ice skates. And this one is a winter one, and she's got a snowflake. It's pretty. And these one, this one looks kind of ethnic. So pretty. And you know, some of them I took off because I just didn't like them. The, the little things in their hand. Some of them I just took off because I just didn't like them. The sunglasses here. This one's one of my favorite ones. And she's got a necklace. Oh, yes. I just love them. And this one's pretty fancy. And I've got um, Halloween ones. I've got four Halloween ones. So, um, I will put these up when it's time. And I'm trying to find other holiday ones. But, yeah. This is my little jewelry doll collection. Um, anyway, that's where my camera abruptly turned off and then I was going to finish showing you my finds for um oh, I just put this out the other day Jeannie Dreamer made this for me a long time ago it's a little corset and I'm putting it up here now yeah I like it there now anyway I've got one right here that just brought out two um, right here that Rose Ocala, Ocala made and was selling and I bought it from her but isn't that gorgeous here I'm gonna put it back and then show you I have it hanging on my little thing that Nadia Nadia made me anyway she made it and I want it anyway she has made me stuff though um, Anyway, here it is, and it is gorgeous. There's a lot of symmetry going on here, so you know it took a long time. But it just sparkles to the high heavens. It is just gorgeous. It's pretty big, too. She put it on the special hanger, and in the back is all satin. Completely finished and done. Yes, this was my very first purchase ever on YouTube when I started on YouTube, which has only been what, about three, four years now. Yeah. So, anyway, and I painted her green. Well, this color is Martha Stewart color. She was white, the hat lady. Now she green. Kind of a green, really pretty green. Anyway, I'm going to finish showing you what I got at the beach in my last, you know, my, um, last, it's, this is like over two, two, three weeks. Um, I've been going and getting vintage stuff. I just got this. It's, um, all brass vintage. I love it. It's so pretty. And then this I got a couple weeks ago and it's written on the back. Um, it's handmade in Austria. And it's vintage, and I think those are pressed flowers. Yeah, I didn't show you those. And then, um, I'll go back here and show you some other stuff that I got. Oh, I got this. 
and it's cute. So it's a um, starfish, starfish, little starfish um, purse, and I just love it. I got that in an antique store a couple weeks ago. Of course, you guys have seen the purses I've been getting lately. And there's an all beaded one right back there. It's really pretty. But anyway, here's some stuff I got this weekend. Oh, and I was showing you my our drive to the beach. And if this cuts off, I'm really sorry. I just freed some some memory, and I'm gonna get that SD card tomorrow, and have hundreds of hours of memory. So it won't happen again. So if it cuts off, I'm really sorry. But I got these a couple weeks ago, and they're just little um, vintage um, metal Easter eggs, and they're really um, clean inside. But they're kind of hard to put back together, so I'm not going to open them, but they are really nice. And there's all the colors here, and I just got them to put in a bowl at Easter time and have them sitting around. But this yellow one, and the company is written on it and everything. I looked it up on eBay, and just this one, this one, is it this one or this one? Yeah, I think they're the same. Yeah, just this one is going for almost $30 on eBay. Just this one. And I think these are 40s, 1940s. And then you can get um, a pack of them. I think a pack of 12 in their original box for $131. I thought, wow, these are expensive little things. But anyway, I got those for Easter. And then I got this little purse. Isn't that pretty? This little coin purse is just gorgeous. There's nothing missing from it. And it's just a nice little vintage coin purse. Let me open it up. Oh, if I can. Yeah, I got the receipt in there. It's pretty. But anyway, I got that. And then I got this little vintage eyeglass. This, this looks more like retro. You know, like 50s, 60s. Little eyeglass case. And I can just picture some cat eyeglasses in here. And it's see-through. You can kind of see through it. I, think it was, I thought it was really cool. Yeah. But anyway, got that. And then this was sacks of stuff that I got. Um, these were in sacks. So um, the, these are uh, velvet, just some velvet, looks like velvet roses. And there's three of them. Come on. Yeah, they're so soft and pretty. There's three of them. And then I got a bag of this vintage string or thread. A bunch of that, and it's really nice too. I can't wait to use it. It's vintage. And then, let's see, this is really vintage. It's really dark. And it looks like it's been tea dyed, but I think it's just, it's just the aging of it because of the, it is vintage. And it's just one big circle. It was in the bag, and then this, this feels, this is like eyelet stuff, but there's no, there's no holes in it. It's like eyelet stuff. But it feels like, it's so soft. I've never felt it this soft before. I can walk there too. Yeah, it's just so soft. And then there's this one. And this one you would have, um, you would have put this under fabric right there. And then just this part would have shown. But yeah, there's that one. And there's a lot of it here. I mean, this is loaded. And then this one, I really like this one. This is, there's so much here. But yeah, look at all that. The same, same principle, you put it underneath fabric and then just the pretty lace shows. 
gorgeous. Yeah, I just love it. And I'm going to um, be finding a way to use it very soon. Oh, I just dropped it. Anyway, there's blue too. Here's the light blue. Also. Yeah, look how much there is. I mean, there's so much. Tons of it. Anyway, and then this vintage ribbon. It's kind of a lavender type. But look how much is there. Oh, I can't believe it. It's just really dense. Put that one in there. And then, um, oh, here's another one of the threads. And then this is actually two bags. Between all that and this, it was two bags. And it was cheap. <laughs> But anyway, here's this doily. Isn't that a pretty one? I've never seen one like that before. That is really pretty. And then there's that was, and then this one I gotta find somebody to give this one too because it says a present from Ireland. So first one who tells me they're Irish, maybe they'll send it to me in the United States. <laughs> you gotta be local in the United States. But anyway, there's that. And then a bunch of, uh, there's four of these little ones. And then this big one right here was just, you know, your average. But then there was this one. This, the rest of them were just so delicate. Like this one. It's so delicate. Yeah. It is just so delicate and almost feels like tatting. Come on. There you go. And then there's another one. There's another one of those. And then there's this one. It's bigger and has a little bit different design on it. And then there's this one. White one. They're so delicate. And then we got this little nap or um, handkerchief. And I love this color. I just love this tatting. It's so pretty. It doesn't say anything in here. It's just a handkerchief. And then um, this little long thing like this. It kind of matches the colors in the handkerchief. I love this border. It's just so cute. I wish I could crochet. And I really don't have any. I love it so much, and it's, I just fell in love with it recently. And uh, I don't, I don't like the blankets and stuff. I just like this little stuff. And evidently, these are arm covers because they're shaped kind of like that would be an arm cover. There's two of them. And the last thing is this square thing here, which is so cool. square piece. Yes. And then uh, this last one here. This one has just a little spot on it right there. But this one's cool. And then, a couple weeks ago, I got this in an antique mall. So pretty. Let's pull it out. There we go. It's an apron, and it's all lace. Here's the pocket. It's so pretty and delicate. There's the pocket. Just a 
all white, see-through, beautiful apron, and there's not one thing wrong with it. And then there's one more that is crocheted, and I fell in love with it, but it's not going to fit me by far. <laughs> And it's really tiny. I don't know how it's going to fit anybody, but it was so cute I had to get it. Just a minute. I'm trying to fold it out. There we go. I'm sorry about all this moving around. Anyway, there's the border right here. The sides. Anyway, it goes all the way around, and down here is your border. Goes all the way around. The colors are really nice. And then it has a pocket shape like a heart with those same flowers. Isn't that cute? Anyhow, um, these might be up for sale because um, I really don't have a use for them. It's just I love crochet and so I got that. I could put, I thought when I first got these, because I got the one that goes to my simplicity pattern collection, I got the apron that goes with that and I had it up here for a while, but then it hides everything that's on the little shelf. So I don't want to put an apron on there because I don't want to hide it. I want to use it for um, displays and stuff. So there's my big floppy hat I just put out that is um, Simplicity Pattern Collection. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, looks like my video is going to go longer than usual, which is nice. Um, yeah, I just mainly wanted to show you my my purchases I've gotten lately at the antique malls and garage sales, things like that. I'm going back to my desk here. I just recently put all my stuff here. Like everybody does, they put it here, and I, I just never did. I had it full of other stuff. But it's really nice, handy having it here. Yeah. I got a new battery for my phone, so I, I can take my phone and a cord and this anywhere and have and charge my phone or my my tablet anything as long as I have this with me I can charge anything but this has to be charged I got that at Claire's my husband was in going into Eddie Bauer and I never go into Claire's and it was right there so I went in while he was in Eddie Bauer and I found that so I got it and I also found a pin to my collection right here it's rainbow isn't that pretty? I love it. My pins are not dollar store ones. They are the real deal. I ordered them through the internet through Mama Leahy, I believe her name was, a couple, two, three years ago. And they are the real deal. deal. They're heavy with real crystals. And you get the replaceable cartridges. Yeah, I love these things. But yeah, they didn't come from the dollar store. They're the real deal. And then this one is too. Michael's has this version right here, but this is the real deal. Those are real crystals. And it's heavier and everything than Michael's. But yeah, I love those pins. I just find that one in Claire's was kind of nice. Because it's a nice one too. I don't know the quality of the crystal, but it's nice. It's not a dollar store brand. <laughs> Anyhow... Yeah, I just got this from TJ Maxx, a rollout um, colored pencil thing. I really like that. That's nice. So, anyway, I think I'm going to get off here because this has got to be going to cut me off sooner or later. Um, oh, looky late. Um, my little bookmark that Jeannie made me right there. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Yeah, anywho, and um, I hope you found the dresses or the coats to those right there, Miss Dying to Make, that I showed.
Oh, here. This is new. I just made this a while ago just to make. Huh? Um, it's all the uh, animal prints. And, um, yeah, um, the posh paper lady, I do a lot of her boxes and stuff. And so she made this recently, so I made it too. Zebra and uh, tiger and I can't remember that other one. You guys will know. But anyway, yeah, I just made that three box little thing, and you could do it for. She did hers for Christmas, so yeah, it'd be really cute for Christmas. And then I had paper left over, so I made this little this little um, number here. And I put velcro on it like I do everything and then opens up and you can put stuff in it. Yeah, not much stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, that was kind of cute. Oops. Get a shot here. Yeah. Cute. Anyhow. There they are. I had this ribbon from, um, it actually came off that, um, hat that's on that, um, go this way, the hat that's right up there on the, the green thing, that hat had that, um, this ribbon around it and I didn't like it, I took it off, so, I had it laying around until I used it. Anyway, ladies, I'm going to let you go. This is a long video. And then I'm going to get that SD card SD card tomorrow where I can get, like, a thousand hours of extra video. Jeannie, you're, you said yours only goes at 20 minutes and cuts you off. Well, that's what you need, an SD card. They're, like, less than $20, and you will get a thousand hours. And your videos can go and go and go. And all you need is to get that to put in your, your, your phone. And then your daughter should be able to tell you about it. And then you get this battery to where you can take it, your phone, and charge it anywhere. As long as this is charged, you'll have three, well, let's see, four or five hours of charging to charge your phone anywhere you're at. So, yeah. Anyway, ladies, thank you so much for letting me ramble on here and showing you some vintage things. And, um... Until the next time, because I'm kind of on a kick now, especially with these uh, head bases and wall pockets. I'm just, I think that's going to be my new collections. Well, we'll see. Anyhow, my husband's waking up every Saturday morning going, what do you want to do today? Where do you want to go? So, it's getting spendy for him. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you come back and keep crafting. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>